Hello learners! Welcome to our video lesson. A new day, a new learning. Today, we are going to discuss about the mixture and its types. But before we begin, let us recall that matter can be classified into mixture and pure substance. In this image, you can see the difference between the two. In this video lesson, we are going to focus on mixture. Let me introduce to you the objectives in this video lesson. Remember that at the end of the video lesson, you will be able to Distinguish mixtures from substances based on a set of properties Classify the mixtures based on their properties and characteristics So without further delay, let's begin Like what I've said, matter can be classified into two mixture and pure substance in our previous video lesson we learned that pure substances can be classified into elements and compounds element is a substance consists of one kind of atom while compound is a substance consists of two or more kind of atom the difference of the mixture to pure substance is that Mixture is formed by physical means and it is composed of two or more forms of matter. Mixture can be classified into heterogeneous or homogeneous. The heterogeneous mixture is a mixture that is not evenly mixed. On the other hand, homogeneous mixture is a mixture that is evenly mixed. Are you ready to learn more about the mixtures? Let's start then. Mixtures are substances composed of two or more forms of matter, which are physically combined. Mixtures are the physical combination of two or more substances in which the identities are retained and are mixed. Here are the characteristics of mixtures. They have variable compositions. It composed of two or more forms of matter. They can be separated by mechanical means. It can be filtration, evaporation, or condensation. They keep their physical properties. Their properties remain the same. They do not form new substance. No chemical reaction. The two types of mixtures are heterogeneous mixture. Hetero means different. Homogeneous mixture. Homo means same. Let us differentiate the two types of mixtures based on their properties. One of the characteristics of heterogeneous mixture is that the mixture did not mix evenly. For example, a vegetable salad. You can still see or identify the tomato, lettuce, sauce, and onion. Means to say that the compositions are still identifiable because it did not mix evenly. On the other hand, homogeneous mixtures have uniform composition because particles or the solvents are totally dissolved. In short, they mixed evenly. For heterogeneous mixtures, the components can be easily seen. Just like for example, this mix nuts. You can still identify the cashew, the peanuts, or the almond. While homogeneous mixtures, the components cannot be seen or not visible to the naked eye. Just like, for example, the chocolate drink. The substances in heterogeneous mixtures can be two phases. And layers may separate, just like, for example, the mud and water. You can see that it formed layers or distinct layer. For homogeneous mixtures, the whole mixture is in the same phase. So for example, the water and sugar. You cannot identify the sugar and water because they mixed evenly. Lastly, heterogeneous mixtures components can be easily separated. You can use physical means, just like filtration or by hands, or magnets. Homogeneous mixtures, on the other hand, the components cannot be separated easily, but you can use mechanical ways such as evaporation or condensation. You can also use distillation. What are the examples of heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures? 
So here we go. Mixtures of sand and water are example of heterogeneous mixtures because the components did not mix evenly can be easily seen two faces and formed layers the components are large particles in size can be easily separated using filtration while salt water is an example of homogeneous mixtures because the components or these mixtures are in uniform composition the components also cannot be easily separated but you can separate it through evaporation and the composition are in the same phase a pizza is an example of heterogeneous mixtures because the components are large particles in size the components can be easily seen can be easily separated through picking and the components are in different phases. An example of homogeneous mixture is baking solution because the components are very small particles in size. Components are not visible, cannot be separated easily, and the components are in the same phase. Another example of heterogeneous mixture is a mixture of oil and water. When you mix them together, it will formed into distinct layer. The components can be easily seen, can be easily separated through density. The components have different faces as well. While well, lemon juice is an example of homogeneous mixture because the particles are in small size. The components are not visible, cannot be separated easily, and the components are in the same phase. Now, are you ready for the activity? Classify the given example if it is a homogeneous or heterogeneous. You are given 10 seconds to answer. The answer is air is a homogeneous mixture milk and cereal is a heterogeneous mixture Coffee is a homogeneous mixture. Soil is a heterogeneous mixture. Example of homogeneous mixtures. Alright, let us now summarize what we have learned today about heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures. Let us differentiate these two types of mixture. But remember that homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures are substances composed of two or more forms of matter which are physically combined. Let us now differentiate these two types of mixture. Heterogeneous mixtures are mixtures with composition that did not mix evenly. Components can be easily seen. Substances can be two phases and layers may separate. Have large particle sizes. And the components can be easily separated. While homogeneous mixtures have a uniform composition, not visible to the naked eye, and whole mixture is in the same phase, Particle size is often at atomic or molecular level. Components cannot be separated easily. 
So thank you class for listening. I hope that you learned something new today and I'll see you again in my next video lesson. Bye everyone. Have a good day. God bless.